All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to game number four, round number four of our new player tournament. This time around, we've got Atlas, Fox Blazing, Revolting Peasant, and I'm going to go with Tinny. That's just because I have no idea how to pronounce that name. Uh, I'm going to go for Tinnilux, but... Tinnilux? Tinnilux. Tinny is a good plan, yes. Tinny. We're going with Tinny. All right. That means... Oh man, looking at this map, we once again got some pretty expensive iron and carbon and electronics, but that's about it. Prices aren't actually that weird this game. Whoa, severe lack of water though. A scientific HQ has yeah, been found. not a lot of water wow. going on on this map. It's spread out, the highs don't have much adjacency. That's going to be really awkward. Mm -hmm. Now that said, we did have Atlas drop in that northeast corner. He's actually a robot that is closest to the high water with adjacency on the map, although not arguably not the best water on the map. No, I'd say uh, Tinny's probably going to snap up a decent water patch. Uh, even so, I mean, there's pirates around, so it's risky proposition, I think. But we'll see. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's that's the thing, right? You've got pirates, but maybe the scientist will be okay because if water goes out of control, then you have control of the life support markets. It'll be an interesting, an interesting game to say the least. Mm-hmm. I do. I quite like to go scavenger just below that water patch. You got you could have two carbon, well, two low adjacent carbons. Oh, somebody stole his water. Poor old Tinny. Yep, that's going to be painful, and that is always the risk of running that scientist. Of course, he did get to HQ2. He's got two of those water claimed. Well, he, I think he got there before he did hit level 2 and could have claimed it, I think, if he'd have been a little, little bit quicker. Yeah, just had to be a little quicker on that, I think, because Fox wasn't making, hadn't committed to that immediately. So if Tenny had just been a little more on the ball, then it would have been okay. Fox saw his opportunity and uh, said, thanks very much, I shall have that. And yeah, I am is. nervous about that for Fox, though. Because there are nukes this game. Oh, yeah, definitely and get a goon squad on it. Yeah, he's he's going to need to goon that in order to, to make sure he's going to be okay. And Timmy, I think you still have the option of slant drilling. Obviously, for any of our players this game, slant drilling is likely to be strong because of the limited water resources in particular. Oh, and well, there you go. Although it was actually the scientist's aluminum that gets targeted there. That's fair enough. That's about the, well, that is the only thing really that scientist is vulnerable on. Yeah. It is worth pointing out that one of our players, Revolting Peasant, who for some reason his name isn't showing up for me in the UI, oh. doesn't have any aluminum yet. He's, well, he's gone at three, I three glass though at that price. That's that's almost certainly a mistake. Just straight up, you could have just taken a high aluminum, been in a pretty darn strong position. Yeah, I don't like Atlas that at all. Has been I'd actually be a bit surprised if Atlas doesn't take a second aluminum here. And usually, I don't like a second aluminum, and I'm not even sure I like it this game, but. It fits in with the plan of nuking out Tenny's aluminum, right? Yeah. But then your fox has got a high aluminum with a adjacent low, which he's taken, so he took the second. That's um, true. Yeah, there's no claims as well, which... If there's no claims, I'm always reluctant to take a second aluminium, unless it's so. right adjacent to my base. Yeah, I would be reluctant about it too. It's just, it fits with the plan, right? Because otherwise, what was the point of throwing out the nuke at all? Well, it slows down that scientist, something rotten. I mean, that scientist knows Tinny's going to be struggling. I mean, it slows him down, but is that enough? Because now you're basically, you've taken money out of the scientist's hands and dumped it into the expansive player. Yes, <laughs> that is a very fair point. And it's it's worthwhile, I guess, to slow one player down, but you always have to be careful about what the end ramifications are going to be of a move like nuking. And I don't know if it's going to be good enough for Atlas here, given he, all the money he's giving to Fox. He has to follow it up and nuke Foxes. 
even if he nukes foxes, so fox will still get three aluminium in per second. Yeah, still more. Yeah, still more than his. But maybe he just thinks the scientist is the bigger threat, which... I mean, he does. On this map, it's got very limited water. Scientists... Well, if the scientists had got all that water patch, he'd have been in such a dominant position. Especially when you look at, I mean, oxygen being such a good launch, food isn't too bad either. Late game, you see, scientist is just going to be laughing. That power price. This has to be superconductor. Nope, slant drilling. Oh dear. All right. I mean, slant drilling is strong, but arguably, I think it's a, I, I think it's a mistake to go for now because it's all it does, strong. all it is, is blocking other people right now, right? Yeah. I mean, and you don't need to do that because nobody else has a patent lab. The it's, thing is, it's, it's not going to stop his medium water from getting nuked. Yeah, that's the other thing. Is it doesn't do a whole lot in the moment, and in the moment he has this immediate concern of power. Like, debt's already 120, going up by 250 a second. Worst bond rating, sea level bond rating, and only 8,000 debt. A superconductor cleans that up. Pretty easy. Especially as he's got the geothermal adjacent to his base. I mean, that yeah, would exactly. Be, exactly. Superconductor's a no-brainer in that situation, I would say. Well, and now debt stacking up very rapidly, 800 a second, because of course the freeze. Hmm. He has got the other geothermal though, so. No, that's not his. That's it's not his. It's no. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> he is in trouble, then, isn't he? Yeah, Fox gonna have to be watching that debt. Always something you gotta be paying attention to. Yeah. I, I guess slant drilling will finish up soon. And after that, it is Superconductor coming out. Already has Energy Vault off of an auction. Which is great if you're actually producing power. Yeah. I mean, Energy Vault certainly has its uses, although right now. It's more of a solar super, panel. Super great. It's still fine. It's more use, I think, with solar panels because it'll cover you overnight when your panels yeah. aren't producing. That is the typical use of Energy Vault, I would say. You see, Fox now has gone into a second geothermal, which... If he just got... So he's getting superconductor, though, so... Not too bad, but... I mean, that'll be on plenty of power, right? That'll be six a second at that point. More Possibly, than yeah. enough. But yeah, they'll take him right through to the end game. You as would. long as he hasn't let that too, get too out of control, which I don't think he has, in particular because our other players haven't committed enough to knock that power price down yet either. They're all producing some, but not a huge amount. Atlas was really the only one making any notable amount of power. And even then, he's only at about a surplus of two, so that price has stayed pretty steady for Fox to have time to kind of adjust. Yeah. 31,000 debt, though. That hurts. Atlas has gone and mutinied a single electronics factory from Revolting Peasant, which I can't... I can't agree with that at all. He's having to shift no, all the we're resources gonna call that in. we are going to call that terrible, yeah. yeah. And pretty, pretty soundly awful for a variety of reasons. First of all, there was a geothermal to mutiny away of foxes, I do believe. Unless he cancelled it, which he did. <clears throat> could have mutinied it before the cancel, and then, you know, things could get interesting. There were geothermals to potentially target with spies to check the geothermals first. Would have been a much better play, yeah. Yeah, you know, could have been a lot more. Could have been a lot more interesting. And on top of that, the electronics factory is just not even making money. So, you got to ship the resources to send out there to turn them into a less valuable resource, and then get them back and prevent your opponent from losing money in the process. It's just not really what you're looking for. That's not at all. I mean, the price of high carbon is so high. It's and silicon. I yeah, revolting peasant is well. He's fading fast, I'm afraid. Yeah, I, he's basically out of it. It'll be an interesting race to see who gets his shares in order to boost their own stock price as he continually falls out of this game. But I don't see much for Revolting Peasant to do, which is pretty standard when you go for early electronics. He does. He absolutely does not have the carbon production for this, operating on just two lows. No, nowhere near. Nowhere near. I mean, he was up against it to start with but mm -hmm. compounding his mistake by going into those electronics factories was... And he's shipping two silicons all the way across the map, which, all right, they're going to make him money, but money he's losing on fuel will be crazy. Yeah, 2.2 2 
fuel which is costing him four hundred dollars cost me four hundred dollars to ship in that silicon and he's making well not much now yeah not not a lot oh and he does protect the patent lab so that's a really big deal in a lot of ways because that gives tinny teleportation for sure he needs it i think a robotics mm -hmm. and Although, took it away from fox fox was paying enough attention that he actually spotted they were both going for teleportation tinny was going to win the race Fox had a black market cooldown coming up, could have used it, but the goon squad drops and Tinny guarantees it. So Fox immediately transitions into carbon scrubbing. Given the price of carbon, that's a good move. Yeah, strong moves out of Fox, really, this game. Really paying attention to what's happening for the most part. Power got a little iffy early on, and in some ways still kind of is, but with Cook the Books available, I'm pretty sure Fox has been cooking the books this game. I'm going to check on that just to make sure. Well, a 200k worth of debt and a B yeah, bond rating. Yeah, that's that's for sure. And he's got that, his water. He's got medium water. He's got that goon squatted as well, which good move. Yeah, and I think that's really kept Fox in it and let let him get away with not having so much power production down. In particular, just that one geotherm carrying on through and making sure that the interest ticks don't let things get too out of control. Still going to need to make sure to stay in might even want to push to that A rating just to be certain because the next interest tick would be a push down basically to C pretty close to it yeah he definitely wants to get another one as you say keep that bond rating up because he has a scary amount of debt but Atlas has he's come through quite nicely he's not doing anything with his patent lab but he's looking he's got a nice share price there boosted probably because he owns shares in Tinny yeah, the shares in Tinny are really boosting that price. I mean, power has been a really, really great tool for Atlas this game. Pretty consistently. It has. But he's breaking even on his... See, he's only got a triangle of three. He's just got his reactors there, which are breaking even because of the water price. I mean, steel... Well, I'd be transitioning out of steel, to be honest. The yeah, person, the reactors and the steel both actually losing money right now. The only person Once you count in the power cost. Yeah, he's only benefiting... Tinny, I mean Tinny, basically he's probably overjoyed at that steel price because he can just snap it up cheap. Congratulations. Yeah, it definitely yes. makes his life nice and easy. Well, that's a cheap off world for him if he manages to push that far. He guessing he got carbon scrubbing? No. Yeah, let's Ooh. see what happened with carbon. Uh, yeah, Fox was Fox after it. Got it. Actually, was the one who took it. Those chemical refineries are going to be not as profitable as they could be for him. Yeah, so a bit of an like, unfortunate situation, especially because I would say this is just plain a mistake where these are positioned. I mean, he had carbon right there and could have taken those tiles, but didn't. And so even without carbon scrubbing, he could have been in an okay spot, have some carbon, but mm. not going to end up happening. Well, even if you had to run one single lab off the carbon, then that's yeah. only... It's only point five he's losing. Fun. Yeah, rather than now he's losing two twenty-five yeah, just off carbon. Time to start improving everything. Yeah, not black market is not what he wants business. to be looking at. Uh, revolting peasants, still electronics I mean, factories still in the game somehow. Barely, absolutely I mean, barely. <laughs> He's definitely um, present, right? But <laughs> not much more than that. And frankly, I'd be looking at that $8 stock price, especially now that this interest tick just came through. That's going to be dropping so rapidly. I would want to be buying that. Yes. All of it. Every last bit. Just take it. I mean, you could uh, you could shift by him. I think everybody could shift by him, probably. Well, it's getting close. You need 100 right now. But of course, that's dropping by like 2,000 a second at the moment. So yeah. everybody needs to be paying attention to this and be ready. I mean, Fox is... Fox could probably... St well, Fox should snap him up because he owns three of his shares. That's part of why Revolting Peasant is so valuable right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, just... Atlas has it. If Atlas is paying attention, Atlas really should sell everything down and just take Revolting Peasant right now. That is no the move. No doubt about it. That's the move to make because three of Fox Fox's shares is... Wow. Fox could do it too now both of these like everybody could do it every single second this goes by without revolting peasant getting taken down is just a straight up mistake by all these players oh god yeah oh, he's in nearly 400 k's worth of debt and he's selling down i bet he's gonna buy another stock of he's gonna buy another stock of fox isn't he 
he's working. I mean, he's already got three. Yeah, he's getting close to the fourth. Could sell down that carbon and electronics and probably do it. But Atlas instead builds the off-world market. And I, I mean, that's okay. But you can get three of Fox's stock just by buying peasants. So, like, no matter what else you're getting, that's wow. good. I mean, just rolling it back, buying, putting an off-world market down when you haven't defended some of your stock. When people have got 100k worth of cash and resources, your main competitor could not snap you up, but certainly put a big spanner in the works. Uh, That's Fox, a mistake. I don't debt. That's not oh, good. Oh dear. Done with that now, it looks like. Well, to be honest, once you go past a certain point, just let your debt go. Buy those cook the books and just say, I've had it with debt. Yeah. I'm so frustrated right now. Still nobody bought peasant. Oh, uh, and prices. peasants pushed back up to like a six dollar share price. They were down at what, like four? Yeah. <laughs> Missed an opportunity there. Oh, that was a new con Atlas's water. That's gonna be kicking that water price up a bit. And Atlas has got a off world oh he's off world market, but no We caught a dirty rat trying to No colony stuff. adjacencies. But this oxygen launch, please buy peasant with this, please. All right, you've got it. Just, just buy it. <laughs> Will he though? Or at least defend Okay, there's yourself. an interest tick. Let's watch this. Thirty a second drop. Wow. No, where are you buying Fox? <laughs> oh, cry. You're gonna die. Fox has got hundred percent on Fox, his peasant. Just go kill you. Oh no. Oh dear. He can be, he's, oh, he's gone, he's gone, watch. he's gone, I'm afraid. This is so sad. Fox. <laughs> and that is why you do not go to HQ level 5 with an off-world market and stock in everybody else without securing yourself against the majority buy. Have you seen, oh. if you want to confound your frustration, look at peasant stock price. I saw, I saw, I'm, I'm done, can't watch anymore. I mean, Fox. that's, at least it Tinny's, shift by. come on Tinny, they you They both can, do can it. just shift by, <laughs> just do it, thank you, oh, thank you, <laughs> finally, I have no idea wow. what the actual state of the game is, but, like, Oh, so much of it hinged on being able to buy Revolting Peasant. Like, that has been the only play to make for literally the past, like, five minutes or so. But Tinny's stock price has just gone stellar, just increased And that's massively. why! Who cares how much money you're making? Look at that stock price difference, and it's two claims! Like, yep. It's worth it for the claims alone. The claims alone are fantastic, exactly, and now, ugh. All right. <laughs> and Fox has a hologrammed off-world. Tenny has an off-world. Has he got it off? Oh, he's got it protected. That's okay. Fox is. Yeah, he's got a second off-world as well now. Fox. Four point five thousand dollars share price. All right. Hmm. This is going to be close. Optimization routine successful. I mean, Tenny needs to work on Fox's water. If he can get some nukes in there. The black market is online. I mean, somebody has broken Great through. I think a nuke landed earlier. Oh, wow. Trigger an underground nuke. Where was that? Uh, Goonspawns intercepted your attempt to trigger an underground nuke on Tinny. Ooh, Fox, that is risky. Blowing the, he's blowing the goon squad off, but that's his. If Tinny needs to nuke his water, he needs to do that now, and he needs to follow it up with a second nuke. Just kill that water. Yeah, just get rid of that water. Just, I mean, he's got two nukes stored up right now. Spies are only 4.5. Just get rid of the water. I mean, Fox has got 400 water in stock, so it's... It's not... Uh, now he's got well, nothing. Yeah, now is the time. Stock because water's worthless. But he still is going to need water for this game. Yeah. I mean... The longer it goes... And he's got a bit of an uphill battle. I mean, $70 st stock prices. 
That's a lot. That's Class a mountain. It actually has a lot of it stored away in launches right now. The black Let's see. Is open for business. Yeah, that's where all of his water is right now. So he can, like, cancel out and get that back, potentially. But... Oh, good lord. But it's just kind of... Like, every single moment that you're sitting on these nukes and not doing anything with them is a little the frustrating. Where did that upgraded. nuke go? I saw the nuke land. Shipment launched. Wait, stuff. was that... seriously? Uh, These guys see. are tossing nukes back and forth to get rid of goon squads. Mm, I think there's, there's better, better, better. Well, we already covered the better aspects Launch of it, haven't we? I can't believe Fox is launching water. That's a bit ridiculous, considering the oxygen price is just so high. I know it's a mistake. Yeah, I mean it's almost water's half the price. Launch oxygen. I know you can sell oxygen, but that green well, the water is better than it looks because he has so much of it stored away, right? But it's still not good enough to overwhelm the benefit of launching oxygen. No, nowhere near. And it just kind of can't be because oxygen is only 250 compared to 850, and water maxes out at 460. So you just it, water even at a dollar isn't worth launching right now. No. No, not with oxygen and water that, uh, oxygen or food even that high. That said, I think Patent Lab is pretty much the name of this game. I mean, this inter this Pleasure Dome is making $336 a second, which is just insane. Hmm. You've got carbon scrubbing, slant drilling, thinking machines, water engine, financial instruments, like, you've got everything. Yeah. All the patents. And all the patents is really hard to overcome. That said, let's take a look and see that Fox Blazing, he needs 762, 763. That'll keep going up a bit by bit. Tinny currently needs 560. So Fox is like 300 away. And Tinny is 250 away. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of close right now. I kind of think Fox may... I mean, mutinies are still cheap. Yeah, Mutiny is still down at 20. It's kind of a big deal, but they really help out Fox because he knows there's this undefended off-world. That's right. That's a big... I mean, as long as he keeps that one off-world running, then it doesn't matter too much what happens to the second one. I mean, it does, and but... On top of that, Tenny can't get aggressive with Mutinies. Just completely unable to because of the thinking machines. Always has to play, like, defensively with them. That's it. I mean, Fox, there he is. Fox has got it sorted now. Yeah, Fox is going to end up taking it. Just making too much money mm. is what it comes down to. Yeah, I mean, I think... I don't know. Tinny, if he'd have got that but that high water, uh, medium water, he could have done a lot better. Because he'd have got adjacency then, at least, on some of his tiles. So at the moment, he's got no adjacency, really, on his reactors or his food, and it's just... Awkward. It's hurting. Mm. Quite bad. Well, definitely, definitely quite painful. Okay. And he, they had they had the opportunity. It was just being a little bit slow there. And I think the nuke bouncing instead of actually just landing the nuke. Yeah. That yeah. was. That's that was always. Yeah, it was always hard, isn't it, when it bounces like that? But Fox, I think it was. Well, I can't agree with him launching water. Yeah, the water launch is bad i would say yeah, less than optimal but overall still generally a very well played game oh definitely definitely there's room for improvement there i mean he didn't use his optimization lab as much as he could have yeah i mean there's, there's always going to be room for improvement right but still i liked the founding location generally obviously important to identify that medium water as so valuable did goon squad it at least at some point yeah and good use of cook the books to stay alive that game because that could have been a really easy way to fall out of it mm -hmm. yeah but with the adjacent geotherm and an early patent lab i mean superconductor would have really taken care of that superconductor did help for sure i mean they got to it eventually but mm. i do agree with you that it should have been faster there was yeah. no need to go for that slant drilling first no i mean i did slant drilling actually benefit him this game I mean, he got extra water out of it. Uh, yeah, I suppose he did, didn't he? 
maybe some extra iron at certain points. Not that that's really that big a deal, but you he know. could could have done without it though, couldn't he? Yeah, I don't think slant drilling was even necessary. Like there was definitely also extra aluminum, but once again, it's, it's aluminum, so. I suppose also you could say that <laughs> he also denied it to the scientist, which if the scientist yeah, but he managed got... to pick up like four patents before the scientist got one, so. Oh. He had time, basically. And I, I think slant drilling early was good, just not that early. Mm. You know? Yeah. Still, though. Yeah, well played. Well done. Revolting Peasant was an interesting little nuisance, that game. And that was the big mistake that everybody made that game. Absolutely, right? Yeah. Like, you have an opponent who has three or four stock in your opponents, and you can just shift by them. That is your job. That is what you should do. Like, oh, undoubtedly. For $100,000, paying $100,000 for two claims and four stock in a, an opponent and acquiring like 14 stock total in the process, that is the right play. And it, it really doesn't matter what else is happening that game. Yeah, I mean, Tinny put 50% extra on his stock as well. As soon as he bought that, his stock value shot up. Exactly, because of all that stock that you now hold. It's just... It's win, win, win situation for Absolutely. what for pennies really yeah for nothing and it doesn't even really matter if you don't make money off of that subsidiary the rest of the game they've already paid for themselves on buying them oh, so three or four times over i'd say yeah it's just well worth it well worth it for sure anyway that is another win over to fox which means they're now sitting on four wins kind of a lot yeah i I'd have probably predicted that. I haven't seen Fox play ever before, so, you know. I've played against him a few times, and uh, yeah, he's a good player. 